Hello, my name is Garrett. I'm the automotive guru, and this is how to operate the 2020 Mercedes-Benz C-Class navigation system. So let's get started. Okay, the first thing that we're gonna discuss is how to move through the menus of this screen and navigation system. And to do this, we utilize the right-hand side of the steering wheel, which is right here, and this black little square, we run our finger up over it, down, left, right, and pressing in to select. Then we have these two units. So we have a round knob, and the round knob operates by pulling it to the rear of the vehicle, pushing it forward towards the front of the vehicle, pushing it left, pushing it right, turning left, and turning right, pressing down on top to select. We can use this touchpad by swiping forward, swiping backwards, swiping left, swiping right, and pressing down. For this demonstration, I'm gonna be utilizing the round knob located in the center console of the vehicle. In order to enter in a destination, we take the round knob, we push it to the right side of the vehicle. The blue signifies where we're highlighted. So if we were to turn to the right, you can see it's highlighting all the other options. We turn to the left, it moves us up. Once we've highlighted enter destination, we're gonna press down and release. Then we're gonna push the round knob towards the front of the vehicle and release. Now, my destination is going to be in California, so I don't need to change the state. But if I did need to, I would turn to the right, highlight it, select it by pressing down and releasing, and then turn to the left and turn to the right to actually enter in every letter of your state. We're gonna to turn to the left to go back up to city or zip. We're gonna press down and release. And if you're gonna enter in the city's name, you're gonna utilize where we are now, which is the top portion. So turn to the left, turn to the right. Once you get to the letter you want, press down and release. I'm gonna do it by zip, so I'm gonna pull it to the rear of the vehicle. I'm gonna select the numbers by pressing down and releasing. And after I've completed that, I'm going to push towards the front of the vehicle and continue to press towards the front of the vehicle until it highlights my zip code or my city. Press down and release. And you can see it prompts us already to highlighting street. We press and release again. And then I begin to enter in the street name. So press down and release. And because mine populated already in the list of presets right here, I'm gonna push towards the front of the vehicle turn to the right, press down on it, and then I'm gonna enter in the house number by pressing down. So I'm gonna enter in those numbers. And once I've entered in the numbers, I'm gonna do the same exact thing. Push towards the front of the vehicle, push towards the front of the vehicle. Highlight it, press down and release. The route is being calculated. Please proceed to the highlighted route and you can see it set the destination for us. So because we're a little far out, I wanna zoom in. So in order to do this, we're gonna to turn to the left and it's gonna zoom us in. Vice versa, if I wanted to zoom out, I would turn to the right. Now, if I wanna cancel the route guidance, I can push to the right side of the vehicle, a menu appears again, it says cancel route guidance and is highlighted blue. We press down and release, it then cancels the route for us. On this main menu system, we can turn the round knob to the right and you see previous and other destinations. We're gonna press down and release on this. You see, we've got a couple of different options here. We've got previous destinations. These are places that we've been to before. You have points of interest locations. So that would be parking, gas, restaurants, and then your geo coordinates. So, in order to get a, pre, a previous destination saved into this location, you have to actually physically start route guidance, meaning you can't just enter in an address and not start the route. Once you've started the route, you can go to previous destinations like we are now, press down and release, and you can see the locations that we've been to before. Now to go back, we utilize the button on the left side of the round knob, and it looks like a little arrow. We press down and release, and press down release to bring us back to where we were previously. Now voice guidance. What voice guidance does is basically turns on and off 
the person that is speaking to you telling you to turn left or right and say a thousand feet. So when you press down release on it, you can see there's a line through it and it doesn't have any more of those kind of like sound waves coming out of the speaker and vice versa, press it again. Now it's gonna be speaking to you. Okay, waypoints and info. What waypoints and info allows us to do is at the location that I currently am or you are at, let's say that we want to go to Los Angeles. We would set the destination as Los Angeles. We would then go into waypoints and info and we can add say a restaurant in between us and Los Angeles. So we would start our, our drive, it would take us to the restaurant and then it would take us then after to Los Angeles. So if we push to the right to highlight it again, we turn to the right to go to waypoints and info and we press down. This is where you would search for a destination. We press the back button on the left side of the round knob again, and we're back to where we were. Now, route and position. What route and position does, if we press down and release on it, you have options for alternative routes if you have a destination already set. You have avoid options. This would be if we press down highways, ferries, trains, tunnels, unpaved roads. So you've got a lot of different options in here. I find one pretty cool is the number of occupants inside the vehicle. You can actually change that so that if you're going on the carpool lanes, it knows to take you through those. So I, I think that's a pretty useful feature. So we're gonna press the back button again. And turning to the right, you have route settings. So you can set whether you want it to be a fast route, an economical route, or a short route. I tend to leave it on fa fast route, but that's kind of personal preference there. Automatic traffic jam avoidance. What this means is that it's just gonna route you around it. Or you can have it where it will ask you, do you want me to take you around the traffic jam or just avoid it automatically? That's the type of thing. So press the back button and then you have a compass, which looks like this. So it tells you a little bit more information. We're gonna press the back button until we get back to where we were and we'll go to options. Press down and release on the round knob. Map menu, this is a pretty important one. There's two ways of getting to this, but when we're in the options menu and we see map menu, we press down and release. This is where we can change the direction that the map is gonna be facing. So currently we're highlighted on north facing. You can see the little dot there in yellow. That means that the top of the map is always gonna be north. It's not necessarily going to be the arrow traveling in the direction that you are traveling. If you want it to be like that, traveling in the direction you're traveling, you have two options. And in order to select these, by the way, you push towards the front of the vehicle and that moves you up. Pull to the rear of the vehicle moves you down. Push to the left and push to the right to move left and move right. So if we pull to the rear of the vehicle and we press down on 2D, it's going to change the direction of the map. But we'll come back to that. We're gonna to pull to the rear of the vehicle until we highlight these little like pins. These are four points of interest, meaning that it's checked. So we have golf, uh, restaurants, things like that displaying on our map. Pulling to the rear of the vehicle again, we have weather checked, meaning when it's available, you can have weather displayed. Pulling to the rear of the vehicle again, you have traffic. This, when you have your car fully set up with Mercedes Me Connect, will allow you to have the green, orangish, yellows, and reds all on your map to show you traffic information. Pushing towards the front of the vehicle back to the center, you can push to the left to save your current location if you don't know, like say the physical address. Pushing to the right when you're actually driving will allow you to report an accident. And in the middle, like we're highlighted now, when we press down and release, it allows us to scan through the map. So we can push to the, to the right, push forward, push left to kind of see our surroundings. When we press the back button, it takes us back to normal. Now we're gonna push to the right side of the vehicle again. We're gonna turn all the way down to options and press down. Map content. This is what do you want displaying? Similar to what we were previous. So you've got points of interest, weather information, satellite maps, traffic incidents, traffic delays, and free flowing traffic. I recommend all of these to be checked. Pushing to the right side of the vehicle, turning to the right, we have announcements. So it's gonna announce traffic warnings. It's also gonna announce street names. 
we're gonna press the back button, texting information. What this is gonna be is what do we have at the bottom of the screen? So you can have the current street that you're on, geo coordinates, climate control always on, or nothing down there at the bottom. You can see if we turn to the right and press none, you can see where it was Palm Springs, it goes off. So now you don't have anything there. Turning to the right, you have auto zoom. This one's a pretty important one. So if you don't like the map to zoom in for you when you have zoomed it out to a location, you're not gonna want auto zoom on because what auto zoom does is when it's checked, when we turn out and we or turn to the right and we zoom out of the map, after a little bit of time, it's gonna pull us back into a preset um, amount of distance. So we'll turn to the right. Next, intersecting street. This is useful to know, okay, when you're coming up on a destination, I know the next street that's gonna be appearing. And reserve fuel. This is for when you're getting low on gas, it's gonna put gas stations that are around you. Continue to turn to the right. This has to do with just subscription base, so this has to do with um, Mercedes end of it on keeping your uh, your live traffic up to date map version information and navigation information so we've gone over all the menu systems that are inside the vehicle in terms of options that you have um, I did explain that you can get to that map menu portion by another route and that is by just pressing down and releasing on the round knob once you can see run north facing so what that means is the top of course is gonna be north all the time. But I wanna show you what it looks like when you go and you select by pushing towards the front of the vehicle, say 2D, and you press down. See how nothing much changed. The reason for that is, is because I'm actually pointing north at the moment. If I were to turn to the left, you would see the arrow turn to the left. There's also 3D, and 3D is just a little bit more of an angle to it just like so. Okay, next I'm gonna show you how to audibly enter an address. We do this utilizing the right-hand side of the steering wheel and there is a toggle located right here. And we push this toggle up and release. Very important to press and release, not press and hold. Once we've pressed and released, on this right-hand side of the screen, we're gonna get a menu like we'll see here soon. And we're gonna hear an audible beep. It is important not to say anything before that beep because it will not be listening to you. So I'm gonna show you quickly a demonstration of how this kind of works. So I'm gonna press up and release on the, this toggle. Enter destination. Your destination, please. 3919 East Palm Canyon Drive, Palm Springs. Three nine one nine East Palm Canyon Drive, Palm Springs, California. Accepted. Starting route guidance. You have to wait till the beep appears. You need to say it clearly. Enter destination. You need to wait until she speaks to you and she asks you for the destination and stops completely. And then you're going to say the entire address, which would be the house number, the street, and the town. You do not need to tell it the state that you are in and you do not need to tell it the zip code. After that, the route has been set and if we wanted to cancel it, we could do the same thing by pressing up and releasing on this little toggle. Cancel route. Canceling route guidance. Additionally, let's say that you were going outside of the state. It's a different process. You don't use enter destination to do this. You would first Press up and release on the toggle, like so. Change state. The state, please. Nevada. Your destination, please. Las Vegas. Las Vegas, Nevada, accepted. Starting route guidance. As you get proficient with it, it becomes a lot easier of a process. And it makes it where it's just so much easier when you're driving to be able to utilize the audible commands and tell it the destination that you want or cancel the route per se. Thanks for watching how to operate the 2020 Mercedes-Benz navigation system. Please like and subscribe for more videos.